Good afternoon, everyone. It's been a while. This is day 12 now of my uh, 30 day challenge. Today I learnt, and today I learnt that there are multiple ways to skin a cat, me being the cat in this instance. There are various levels of uh, unacceptable behavior and abuse and harassment occurring in my work, as you may have seen. There's the obvious random dude sending me uh, dick pics as a power play to try and fuck with me. Um, there's the random social media interaction where I get asked about what I do and then followed by inappropriate uh, questions and intentions. Right. There's the client who oversteps boundaries um, and tries to touch me or says something highly inappropriate in a coaching call. They're fun. <laughs> There's the high powered corporate guy on LinkedIn who tries to flirt and get to know me better, uh, who then gets offended when I question his intentions. The ego driven CEO who has never had a strong woman stand her ground and he tries to manipulate me and make my life miserable basically once he feels threatened by my boundary, my simple boundary. Um, there's the crazy trolls online abusing and attacking me um, just because I'm trying to stop men from destroying their lives. <laughs> um, there's the stalkers on social media and in my life who try and contact me through any platform possible. They always end up emailing me through my website because I can't block them. They threaten me and uh, they tell me to get down on my knees and bow to them and suck their cocks basically there's the uh, the people telling me to ignore it telling me to ignore the sexual harassment telling me to ignore the abuse telling me to get on with other things um, those people are living in a bubble never being exposed to any of this nonsense and you know wanting their world to be peaceful and fake <laughs> the Stepford wives comes to mind the you know the wives of the 50s pretending be, to be something they're not not having a voice being a robot for the sake of keeping the peace that's not me <laughs> this people group, group of people are enabling this behavior in a dangerous way and in fact this is the majority group all i'll say to them is this if a child was receiving threats dick pics sexual harassment abuse would you just tell them to ignore it Fuck no. Why? Because it's wrong. So why are you telling me to ignore it? Because you think I should be better prepared to receive it. Because I work in a field where you think the freaks of society hang, up, hang out, right? Wake up. There's my friends and family disowning me because they can't handle what I do or the friends that after five or 10 years just blow up at me for no reason because something I've posted online has triggered um, them and they can't keep their resentment in anymore. And it's all news to me. And the common denominator of all of these types of people is that they have not done the work and they have not walked a day in my shoes. They all hate boundaries. They all hate hearing the truth. They all hate being questioned. They all gaslight, they all threaten, they all lash out and none of them think there's anything wrong with any of their behavior because they're perfect. <laughs> There's this air of I'm right and you're wrong and the second I call them out on their behavior, they change. The masks come off and you see the real person and you're all married to these people, males and females, right? You're all <laughs> seeing a false persona of the real truth of what lies beneath all of these people. And aren't I lucky to get exposed to the truth of people every single day? <laughs> I don't live in the bubble you live in, right? So really, is the guy that sends me a dick pic as a threat any better than a friend cutting me off because I expose toxic masculinity? Hell no. In fact, they're all the same person. They are nasty and toxic. And in fact, it does more damage to me if I know the person and I care. I've had friends send me dick pics, right? Just random drunk photos that I have to wake up to. And it's safe to say those friendships are thereafter you know, ruined. I get exposed to things you wouldn't even suspect or dream of, and I wouldn't wish it on you. You need to trust me when I say this is the dark side of the sun and this issue, porn addiction, is at the seething core of society. 
It upsets me that people don't take this into consideration. Even friends of mine who try and shush me or say I shouldn't expose these people. But not for one second do they understand what it's like out there. They might have been, you know, in a relationship for 50 years and never even spoken to a male or a stranger online, yet they throw judgment at me and even try and blame me for encouraging it. Often women will say, I don't get these type of pics. How come you're getting them? You must be encouraging it or creating it. You need to do some work on yourself to shift this energy. <laughs> Others will say, you get back what you put out or you attract the damaged parts inside of you. So you must be damaged. <laughs> it's called victim blaming and it's actually more damaging, way more damaging than the dick pics or initial sexual harassment that I'm receiving. Others will say that I shouldn't be doing this work if I can't handle it, if my skin isn't thick enough, if I let these creeps get to me, if I waste my energy on them. How about some fucking support? <laughs> How about opening your eyes and asking some questions? How about looking to your partners and finding out if they are the guys that are doing this? If they're watching porn, are they harassing women? Are they seeing sex workers? Are they going for sexual massages? Are they annoying me? How about stepping up as men and rejecting this type of behavior from other men? Rejecting the toxic masculinity by actually saying something to the men in your life instead of telling me to ignore it. <laughs> Trust me when I say you'd be surprised at uh, who some of these guys are, right? CEOs, husbands, fathers, A-lister athletes, men's coaches, leaders in the men's health field, sexual requests, inappropriate behavior, dick pics, wanking videos, inappropriate language, poor boundaries. But most of all, they don't respect women, but they think they do, and they don't listen to boundaries. They abuse and they attack. When they politely, when I politely tell them that the conversation is over. Only two days ago, I was discussing my 30 day hybrid program with someone in a very professional environment who is very well established and recognized in his community, or so he tells me. He runs multiple companies and charities and um, threw, threw all these facts at me when I told him the conversation is over. And why did I do that? <laughs> because he asked if I was naked on the coaching calls and would I help arouse him on the video to pleasure him in his homework. There's brain damage there, right? It's everywhere and it's at a level that no one seems to grasp yet. So that's where I'm hoping to take this business now. I'll be throwing myself into more study um, of the brain, of neuroplasticity, and of how this brain damage is compounding sexual behaviors in men, which is exciting. And to all those offended by this video, <laughs> I have a challenge for you. Come and do what I do for a week and see if you can handle it. See if you sleep at night. I put your number on all my ads and you can field all of the inappropriate requests, comments and abuse. You can try and keep your kids off your phone because of how much trauma they could experience seeing their mum being the focus of these men in this way. You can deal with all of the women that come at you because you're trying to help their men with sexual health issues and you're attractive. You can respond to all the manipulative assholes on Messenger, Facebook Messenger, who want a piece of you and won't take no for an answer. Then we'll see what you have to say about it after that week. And then we'll see how you feel about what I have to say. <laughs> My role in this business has to change. It's obvious because it's purely not worth this. I'll be releasing new types of sessions um, in the near future where I only see VIPs and referrals and they'll have to purchase packages and commit to their journey with me. I'll be hiring a VA, a door bitch, who will field all of these comments and requests. And the only way to stay in this field that I love so much is to not give anyone access directly to me. And that's what I'm going to do, right? So it's exciting times. I'm getting a door bitch, uh, a new direction and a new outlook. So that's for it from me today. Um, I'm going to see you all soon. So have a look at my other videos um, and I hope you're having an amazing day. Bye.